Hello and welcome along to episode 21 of our Look at the Irish Let's Play series on Europa Universalis 4. And we're just continuing on. I did pay, play on a little, uh, probably about 18 months from the end of the our first war with Scotland. And we've just had some rebellion spawn and there's a couple of bits I wanted to do. So I figured I may as well do them on camera. So we're just going to go down to speed four for a sec so we're gonna go and take care of these Gallic separatists first uh, unfortunately I did let them siege out Inverness which wasn't ideal but I had to ferry some troops over from Cumbria and this is actually a pretty close battle so we we did win but that was quite expensive we lost uh, about six seven thousand manpower there uh, so it's not great so just reviewing the things that we're going to do again and I've been improving relations with uh, Burgundy and Aragon. They are, of course, our, our only, well, they're two major allies. They're, they're our only allies uh, because there, are, there was some aggressive expansion building up, certainly on the part of Burgundy. Uh, but Aragon weren't too happy with us either. So we've just topped off relations with those for a little bit. That should keep the alliances sweet for now. Uh, but I, I have just spied a little opportunity, actually. So we're going to recall the diplomat from Aragon. And then we're going to try and fabricate some claims on the Hebrides and the Inner Hebrides. Uh, because these Hebridean separatists, uh, are, are, I imagine, are quite close to enforcing their demands. There's no way Scotland is basically going to be able to get a seven stack up. And go and take them on so at some point the Hebrides will be released on these two islands and then we can jump in and grab them uh, before they get any alliances if we're if we're quick and smart about it so let's go and do that so I'm thinking about taking tech so we're five percent behind on dip and military tech we can take both of those now and we'd incur a seven percent penalty because of the institution spread uh, I don't think I'm going to wait because we've almost maxed out uh, dip and military points and the institution you know they're 33% on our capital so I don't think we're going to get the institution embraced uh, quick enough so we'll take tech we're still way behind on admin and I wanted to leave that as long as possible because we're now going to take an additional penalty uh, I think it's corruption penalty because we've now got like uh, two levels so it's uh, uneven technology so there's a penalty for that uh, new unit type available I think that's cannon uh, I prefer the small cast iron because uh, I like to be aggressive and the small one gets an, uh, an additional offensive pip uh, we can still take that idea. Can we? Which which idea was that? Oh, of course, it's a uh, admin idea. No, no, we definitely don't want to do that. We are way behind on admin. Uh, estates, let's go ahead and do something with the estates. Uh, we, we've let that slip off a little bit. So, military... We can get 50 military points... I'm wondering if we could give that estate an extra little bit of land. Uh, stop. What are you doing? What are you doing, sloth? Right, there we go. So, Welsh land would be really good to give them at the moment. The culture's not uh, accepted, so... Although we've got 0% autonomy in that land, because we haven't accepted the culture, we're actually making very little off of it anyway. So I don't want to give them Montgomery or Glamorgan because of the trade good. And Comathen's already gone to the clergy, so the only one we can really do is uh, Gwynedd. Which isn't a great province to give them, to be honest. Uh, is one of these is uh, Welsh as well, isn't it? Cornwall, but again, the trade goods copper, and I don't want to. I don't want to mess with copper. I like copper goods; it's good. 
So that wouldn't have really changed much because Gwynedd is very little. Yeah, still 50. Uh, is it worth taking that because that will make them disloyal? Well, let's do the other two while we think about that. Oh, so we only get 50 admin as well. well that's not good enough. That's not good enough. So, Cork, we can't give. Ayrshire, did we even make that a province yet? No, we didn't. So we could do... So the cores haven't finished in Scotland. So have we got land with lots of autonomy in England? Yeah, we've got some. I just like the trade goods though. So Hull, we'll give Hull to someone. Again, we haven't done the core, the, the second core on that one. See, this is kind of like the knock-on effect that we've got from insufficient amount of admin points. Uh, I'm already admin focused. My income isn't really high enough to get a, a better advisor. So I guess we just have to take what we can get for now. So it's not great. It's definitely not optimal, but uh, considering the scale of the achievement that we're after at the minute, Where's that? Okay, so Scotland have been doing some cheeky colonial cancer themselves. That's interesting. Well, we might be able to take that off them and then start our own colony down here. Uh, that wasn't really what I was going to plan on doing because we want to uh, colonize Chesapeake Bay and then after that it's either the Caribbean or the Gulf of St. Lawrence really for the for the trade nodes that we want. Um, Spain have taken up most of the Caribbean so I don't actually think we could possibly get 10 c colonies in the Caribbean for the additional merchants. So I think it's going to be the Gulf of St. Lawrence next but it, 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 it's an extra option. So we're not too far away from uh, declaring a war on England next. We've got some more separatists in the pipeline here, and it's uh, this time it's Scottish separatists scheduled in 1.4 years in Ayrshire. So we'll move the army back down to Argyle while I remember. Uh, in terms of religion, we can convert some provinces. See, this is something that's changed in the... Uh, golden uh, Iberian Peninsula immersion pack so they they kind of roll back the the religion nerf that they did at the start of Dharma oh I'm messing around with shit here I didn't mean to so Donegal can we afford to do that not really Shrewsbury and Sussex. So Sussex is in. Yeah. Okay. So let's let's do Sussex. Let's pay to get Sussex converted. Air falls ill. Okay. That's pretty shit. Our air is a two four four as well. Our air is actually fifty one. So I think we're just gonna have to pray for his life. And as always, he dies, and we got a 2-2-2. Two, two, two. That's pretty shit. <laughs> oh God, to be honest, that's pretty shit. 2-4-4 two, four, four to a 2-2-2. Two, two, two. That doesn't feel good. Uh, so we got some states that we can make. Uh, I don't usually do the highlands. I don't think I will this time either. 
Uh, England of... Okay. So we're just trying to get that spy network up on Scotland to get at least one of these two provinces claimed for when the uh, Hebrides breaks from Scotland. Okay, so a level three advisor, 50% cost. We can't afford that even at 50% cost. So we'll take the additional military points. We've maxed out relations with Burgundy. That's good. Um, let's recall that diplomat. So Denmark haven't, are they still at war? Is Scotland still at war with Denmark? They are. But uh, Denmark don't seem to be invading too much. Have we got a royal marriage of Burgundy while I'm down here? I do. So alliance and a royal marriage, and we've only got relations of plus 121 with uh, Burgundy. So that doesn't bode well for the future of our alliance. So one of our colonists has finished. I think Santi will be the... See, Santi's only half done, so... Massachusetts it's actually got quite a lot of bonus events happening through that... Uh, colony construction. Now, what to do here? I could take... I could colonize... Uh, Nickmuck. And that would bridge between Manhattan and Massachusetts. Or I could carry on down the coastline... So let's go for Wampanoag, I think. Just go down the coastline. Can always fill that in if um, Spain or France decide to try and come and take some coastline here. So that's that. Ticking along nicely. We've got more rebels, 80%. We've also got Norwegian separatists. On Orkney. That's going to be a bit of a bastard. And uh, Tyra Connell separatists. Ulster separatists. A lot of separatists right now. And the negative stability really isn't helping. Um, how's our religious unity? 76%. Uh, lose 36 ducats, lose 10 prestige. Our prestige is pretty poor right now. We can afford to take the ducats. Let's also take a peek at if we can invest in some... Oh yeah, there's a couple of good structures that we can get there. So we'll order those up. That'll help our income. Get a little bit higher. Okay, we've got... Scotland is no longer a valid rival for Desmond. That is not surprising. So England have finished their war with Scotland. And England actually took the Inner Hebrides, which... I'm not sure what that does. But England took a lot of land in that war, actually. So maybe letting them have military access to attack Scotland perhaps wasn't the greatest idea. <laughs> uh, Scotland have changed their capital to Shetland. That's good to know. Uh, Austria want an alliance. Okay. So I'm guessing Austria are getting their doo-doo packed in by the Ottomans. So they rivaled with Bohemia, France, and Venice. Allied with Ragusa, Hungary, and Tuscany. So Tuscany are formed. I don't want to get dragged into a war with the Ottomans. And it looks like that the Ottomans... So we'll decline that. I'm pretty sure the Ottomans want all of Hungary. Yeah, so they've got a strong desire for... A lot, <laughs> as the Ottomans usually do. So we'll get that alliance and miss. Thank you very much. 
Okay, we got a, a, a mission that's finished. And uh, Irish America, we've we've got that achievement. Brilliant. So we get a little bit of a bonus, a 5% settler chance increase and global settler increase of plus 15. That's good. And then this next one. Uh, Desmond or their subjects own at least 15 colonized colon, colon provinces in North America or the New World Continent. So that's going to take a little bit before we get that one. But we'll get there. We started off the colonial game quite nicely. Oh, shite. Right, Burgundy, our faithful ally, is requesting that we come to the aid in the Burgundian conquest of Paris against France. This is a war they have started. France is allied with the Commonwealth and Brittany. Holy cow. Burgundy, bro. <laughs> what you done, dude? Right, so they're going to be at war. So is the Commonwealth not joined? If the Commonwealth hasn't joined, then I'm all for this. I'll join this war. But I don't understand why... So they haven't joined because they've lost their alliance with France. Okay. Have they got problems right now? So let's let's just pretend that I wanted to declare war on Denmark, which is an ally of the Commonwealth. I can't do it right now because I haven't got a. All oh, right, then no, I can't answer that because I'm currently with this. So we'll we'll accept only because I think the Commonwealth have re declined the call. If the Commonwealth turn out accepting this, I'm going to be upset. And Aragon and Castile have joined, obviously. So I don't think we'll have to do too much. So that, that that's good. It gets us some favors as well, hopefully. Right. So we can get an Admiral, 4430, 10 Prestige, or a plus two military advisor, discipline plus 5% for half the cost. Part of me actually just wants to take the prestige. It's not like our, our fleet is going to be game changing anytime soon. Yeah, let's just take the prestige. I think that's actually the first time ever that I've taken the prestige there. We just don't need the military advisor right now. So we're going to take tech. Um, we pretty much have to. So that gets rid of the corruption bonus or penalty that we were incurring for unbalanced tech. So the Tyraconnell Separatists were actually the first to spawn. I wasn't expecting that. So our troops are a little bit out of position. Ten years of separatism in Donegal, that's uh, not ideal. But we, we won that one quite fairly easily. Okay, so we converted Sussex, that was actually pretty quick. So Wessex is, we have the Reformation Edict turned on in Wessex, so if we can convert any of these, that would be pretty pretty decent thing to do. Doesn't look like we, we can, no we can't. Um, that's London, West Midlands. We don't have the Edict in the West Midlands turned on. But we could convert a couple of these, I think. Let's convert Shrewsbury. If we can just slowly 
get this religious unity thing sorted out. That'll help with the unrest and then the amount of rebels that we seem to be incurring right now. So we've lost a military leader. It wasn't our general. Let's move the army back over to uh, what used to be Scotland and now North Desmond. <laughs> uh, Denmark have declared as a rival. We can take a military idea. It's manoeuvre. It also gives us diplomatic relations plus one so we'll go ahead and take that because we've only just taken military tech as well so that's fairly decent right i think we're going to wrap this episode up here in the next episode uh we're going to declare our next war on england i imagine let's just double check that yeah 62 so only a few years until we declare in england again so guys thank you very much for watching hope you're enjoying the content please don't forget to uh, show your support if you are, give a thumbs up, leave comments, ask questions. Uh, also, if you are socially medially inclined, I'm on Twitter. That is uh, on the homepage. There'll be a link in the banner of my YouTube homepage. Just click that and that'll take you straight to it. All right, guys, take care. I'll catch you in the next episode. Thank you. Bye.